Hello, in this video, I will give you some CSS resource what you can use on your project to look outstanding. So if you're interested, keep watching. First one is glass UI. If you want to have a glossy effect on your website, you can see this looks nice. And this type of glossy effect, if you want to show on your project, in that case, it's very easy to do. You can see here is the code what you can use. And also, if you want to see the CSS part, you just need to click this. And if you do, in that case, here is also all CSS and you have the option for changing the blur intensity you can see here is the option and also you can change the opacity level and other thing like saturation okay so what is your preference you will be able to do and also you can change the image okay so this is a nice looking thing and also if you need this type of glossy effect or glossy design on your project you will be able to do this supports light mode and also dark mode you can see this is dark mode and also if you need light mode just click here and you can see this is something like that okay so if you need a glossy effect on your project you can do that by the way i want to let you know one thing and that is the websites i will introduce on this video you will get all links in the video description my second website is smooth shadow if you want to have a shadow on your project or in a div in that case you can use this you can see here is plenty of thing and you will be able to customize them how actually you want to show and what is your preference you will be able to do and if you want that you need a custom horizontal or vertical horizontal you will do that no problem what it is okay so it's very customizable and it's very easy to use suppose you want to use this on your project in that case what you can do i will create here a folder first otherwise our live server will not work so i'll write here html and i will open this folder using my code editor vs code and here i will create a file index.html and here i will write exclamatory sign and then tab if you want to learn about vs code shortcut i have a video about it so i highly recommend you to watch that css style.css and i will link the css file here so i'll write here link okay now what i will do i will create here a div i will open this with live server i will go to the style part and here i will write div and i want to add a width here it can be 250 pixel and also a height it can be also 250 pixel i want to add margin it can be 50 pixel top and bottom and then auto so that it can be in center position but you will not able to see this the reason because the div is empty as also i don't have any background color i want to show here this uh, box shadow so if i want to show in that case simply i need to copy this box shadow properties what i have and if you are ready or if you are okay with this shadow in that case only you will able to copy this or you should copy this right so i will copy the code from here and i will paste it here if i do in that case you can see here is the box shadow so it will generate a box shadow for you and you will able to use this on your project my next website is get web it's also another nice and interesting thing if you want to use this type of web on your project and definitely sometime we need to use this on our project so if you need this type of uh, web you can use them on your project you can see this is now bottom facing and if you click here it will be top facing if you want to change type to like this or like this you can do you can change the uh, direction so i can come here and i will place it you can use this preset color and also if you need you can use custom color and when you are good to go in that case you just need to click here and if you do in that case you will able to download svg or you can copy the svg code from here and you can use this on your project no problem at all so it's a nice thing and you can use this on your project to look your project outstanding in very short time next website is this one and here is also this one is also similar like smooth shadow but it have much more option like if you want to show the lighting from right angle or left angle or uh, bottom left bottom right you can do and also you will have the option for changing the sizing you can change the radius you can change the distance uh, actually you can see uh, these two distance you will able to see so it's very nice and also you have the option for blur shape and you can see lots of interesting feature you have so when you are good to go with the design just click here so that it will copy after you copy it you just need to paste it on your project so if you do in that case you can see it's automatically here so this type of box shadow making very difficult when you want to do that custom but you can do that very easily using this type of website okay so i think it's a nice thing and also here is another option like css buttons checkbox cards loaders input so if i click css card in a new tab and also css button in a new tab you will able to see you can see here is some css cards so suppose you want to use this card on your project or you want to use this uh 
card on your project so first of all i will click here if i click in that case you can see they provided me html so here is the option for copy i will click here and I will paste it on my HTML file. Okay, after the body, no problem at all. And I will come to the CSS part, same, I will copy this from here and I will paste it here, okay. And I think it will actually overlap with our main div, no problem at all. I want to see how it look like. You can see it looks something like that. Definitely, I need to make it commented. So if I do in that case, you can see this is a card. But if you want to create this type of card custom in that case, it will take too much time. You already know if I want to add here margin 50 pixel and then auto in that case, you will be able to see this card properly. You can see now if I come here, you can see here is also other cards. If I go back, this is another nice and interesting one. So if I click here, get code, you can see now I will come here and I will copy the HTML part first. And I will come here and I will replace all. Okay, it looks something like that. Now, what I will do, I will come to the CSS part and I will copy all CSS from here and I will come here to the CSS part and I will replace all CSS here. So, if I do in that case, you can see this is nice and interesting uh, animation and also widget or card. Okay, so it's very easy to create a card something like that. And also, here as you can see, lots of button. So if you like any button, you can create this type of button or use this type of button in very short time. Suppose I like this button and I want to use this on my project. In that case, what I will do, I will click here, get code. So it will give you the code. I will go to the HTML part and I will copy the HTML first. And I will come to the HTML part and I will paste here after, okay. And I will replace with the button. And also I need to copy the CSS. So I'll copy the CSS from here and I'll come style.css part. And I will clear actually our first all card CSS and then this. And if I do in that case, you can see this is the button. Okay. So what is your preference and what you want to create, you can do just in very short time using these two websites. Okay. I highly recommend you to explore this. And another website is Hero Pattern. Sometime on our project, we need to see this type of background or pattern background on our website. If you need this type of background on your project, you can simply uh, scroll this website and check what type of pattern you need. Sometime the pattern you need, you will able to get this in this website. So I highly recommend you to explore this. Suppose I want to use a pattern on my website. It can be this one. So in that case, I can come here and you can change your background color, whatever color you like, you can use no problem at all. Lots of color here and also the background color, what actually preferable to you, you can do. So it's very easy to customize and also you can change the opacity level here. And when you are good to go in that case, simply you need to copy this code and then you need to paste this code on your project. So you can see this is just like that. I want to use this pattern on my background. In that case, simply what I will do, I will come to the top and here I will use body and I will paste it here. So if I do in that case, you can see the pattern is applied. So it's very easy to create a pattern, something like that. So I highly recommend you to check out all websites what I introduced you. Now, one more thing and that is sometimes this type of shape we need to place on our background or anywhere. So if you want to place this type of shape on your project, you can see it's very easy to create and when you are good to go in that case they will provide you uh, the svg and it's very easy to download just if you click it will download also if you need svg code you can click here and it will give you svg code okay so it's very easy to use and also you can see you can change its design you can change its color what color you are uh, you need you can do but you can see you only have some limited color and also you don't have the opportunity to change its uh, gradient option okay so in that case you can use also another website and that is this one they have uh, gradient you can see linear gradient radial gradient and also they supports outline and also solid so i think this one is much more convenient than previous but they don't provide you SVG. If you need SVG in that case, you have to pay. But if you uh, use JPG or PNG, you can do no problem at all. And also this supports Figma plugin. So if you uh, like this magic pattern in that case, you can also explore Figma website. Next one is actually generate unique SVG design. Sometimes you might need some unique SVG. So if you need, you can do that very easily using this website. I hope this video is helpful for you. What do you think about this video? Don't forget to let me know in the comment section. If you are new to this channel, I highly recommend you to check out my other videos. And if you think my videos are helpful, click the subscribe button. See you in the next part. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and stay safe. I am Ali Hussain signing out.